Welcome to this video on vocabulary and EMI courses. Let's start with a couple of quotes from EMI instructors and researchers to get us started thinking about this important topic. Here's our first one. Vocabulary explanations should be explored not only as a mode of vocabulary instruction, but also as an integral part of EMI pedagogy. I like this quote because it points out how important vocabulary is to ensuring that students understand the content you are trying to teach them. Teaching and EMI requires us to think about how much or how little students understand the words we use in our lectures, the words they read in their English materials, or the words their classmates or professionals use in discussions. EMI instructors are not language teachers and will not spend all day in class teaching key terms, but you will have to become aware of the words that you use and how to help students understand EMI content using the most clear words possible. And of course, this will depend on your student population. And that relates to the second quote. I want to share it. It's a little bit longer. In the case of EMI, where teachers often avoid directly language-centered instruction, vocabulary explanations may become a vital tool for success. This sums it up nicely. Helping students with the vocabulary they need will be critical if you want them to succeed in your EMI course. For many students, vocabulary is the hardest part of studying in English. So let's look at what it means to know a word. To be able to learn new content using a word, students need to be able to recognize it when they read it, meaning spelling is important. Second, recognize it when they hear it, meaning sounds and the pronunciation or accent variety of the speaker are also important. Third, use it correctly when they communicate in speaking, meaning pronunciation, grammar, and usage are important. And fourth, use it in writing meaning grammar, spelling, and usage are also important. For the purposes of an EMI course, you won't be able to realistically help students completely understand every word you use. But remember that a student might recognize a word in writing when they read it, but not know how that English word is pronounced, and therefore not recognize it when you say it during a lecture or when a peer uses it during a discussion. Or, a different student might be stronger in their listening and speaking skills and might not recognize a word when they read it, but understand it perfectly during a lecture. For this reason, giving students different ways to interact with and understand words is important. And that comes back to awareness, being aware of how students might struggle with words in your EMI course is very important. In fact, research has shown that more experienced teachers develop a type of intuition for when students might not know a word, and they stop and explain or define it as necessary. You can also think about developing that intuition in your own class. At this point, you might be wondering how many words a student even needs to know in some capacity in order to succeed and learn in an EMI course. Well, studies have shown that for listening to a lecture, students need to know and understand 95 to 98 percent of the words that they hear. And that's a lot of words. But remember that students can't just memorize long lists of words in a short time. You can set a goal of introducing or reviewing maybe 25 words per week, depending on your students' needs. Okay, well that sums up some information that we can use to get started as we are thinking about vocabulary within your EMI course.